What's up, everybody? Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bugger Designs. I've got a really fun card for you today. It features the new Filled with Fun bundle that is coming out on March 5th, 2024. It's an online exclusive. You won't find it in any of the catalogs. I love it. We have a whole slew of products coming out, but this one is my favorite. Um, I found these cute little tiny sewing kits you can get like a ton of them on amazon i'll have them linked for you um and i knew i wanted to do something with it and so when i saw the wagon i thought i've been thinking of all the things you could put in the wagon and i thought these would be per a perfect fit so then I knew I had to come up with a fun saying as well we're going to use the new mini alphabet uh, die set to make the uh, sew part and the sentiment you are amazing is actually from kidding around and it's this one right here we're going to stamp it separately so we can put in there you are so amazing okay let's get started um, the first thing we're going to do is our stamping. And as you can see, we've got a lot of flowers back there. This stamp set has two different things you can put in your wagon. You have flowers and you have like a little birthday scene. Um, I have actually been playing around with my stamps and putting all kinds of things in my wagon. Um, this time though, however, because we're putting our little sewing kit in there, um, we're going to stamp the flowers to be the background behind our wagon. You're gonna need four sets of these flowers. They're pretty easy to color, so don't worry too much about that. And I've actually done most of this ahead of time, so you won't have to watch me color all of them or cut all of them out. We'll just do one. Um, the other thing you need to stamp, there's two other things. We've got this uh, banner, and we're gonna stamp it in Fresh Freesia. These colors for my card actually came from Stampin' Up's uh, Creative Challenge. Each month they've got, um, they're doing a color challenge and this month there were two different ones and I, I loved them both, but I decided to use this one. Uh, we're gonna use Highland Heather, Fresh Freesia, uh, Parakeet Party, and Tahitian Tide. Okay, so that's the handle for your wagon. Now, I'm just going to stick sticking with my color scheme. I have uh, Fresh Freesia markers. Uh, these are stamp and blend markers. And I'm going to use the dark Fresh Freesia to color just the insides of our cute little flowers here. That's it. It's very fast. Then I'm going to take my light Parakeet Party and I'm going to color in all the stems and leaves to go with our um, flowers. Now you could just leave it like this. I mean, really, there's no reason why you couldn't, but I'm gonna take the dark and just on the leaves color, just half of the leaf, a darker color, just to give it a little bit of interest. All right, so you're gonna repeat that with all four sets of your flowers. So we're gonna cut these out and I am actually, going to use some post-it tape to put these on so that they don't bounce around while I run them through my cut and emboss machine. Um, I'll have post-it tape linked for you. It's my favorite non-crafting craft tool. <laughs> it's not designed necessarily for crafting, but it's perfect to hold your dies in place when you wanna do a bunch of them. You don't have to worry about them bouncing or popping around. Okay, so we're gonna cut those out. We're gonna do some other things too. Um, by the way, the measurements for all of this is gonna be over on my blog. Um, there's gonna be a free PDF for you, so make sure you check that out. For our grass, we're gonna take this, I, I think it's a cloud border, but we're gonna make it grass. We're gonna cut Parakeet Party um, across that. So we'll just tape that in, in place there. And then I've got our new mini alphabet die. See how it's very small and it fits beautifully on just a quarter sheet of cardstock. And it's gonna cut out all the alphabet with one swoop. We're not gonna need all those letters, but we're gonna go ahead and cut them out. Anyway, we need just the S, the E, and the W. All right, I love that it's all connected. I don't have to worry about tiny little dies. All right, now here's another tool that's gonna help you. It's our uh, take your pick tool and it's got this putty end. So I can pick up those letters that I need 
And I can even, if all your letters haven't come out of your die, let's see, what do we need? We need the S. I'll pull that out. And I'm gonna set this over here for later. I'll take care of that after the video is done. Let's get all of these off. Oh, come on. <laughs> they don't wanna go. All right, let's do our grass. Run that through. Okay. Here we go. And then we'll run our stamped piece. Make sure everything is still where it needs to be. Looks like that one may have wiggled a bit. Put that on and run it through. Let's see, am I off the paper a little bit? I mean, off the base a little bit. I think we're okay. All right, so I'm not gonna cut the other ones out because I've already done them ahead of time right here. All right, let's peel that off. The post-it tape will just peel right off. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's get our handle as well. Now, there are some other things that you're gonna need to cut, and I already did them just for the sake of the video. Um, I have cut the two wagon pieces. Let me show you. These two right here from Highland Heather. And I'm gonna take these, this is, um, our foam adhesive strips, and I think they're perfect for this wagon because you can just put one right there. I like to put it on the bottom so that we'll have room to tuck our, our sewing kit in. Let's see, let me get it centered a little bit better. Like that, okay? Um, you're also gonna want to cut out a fresh freesia envelope. Now this envelope is from the Sending Love Bundle. I did a whole Facebook Friday on the Sending Love Bundle uh, back in January. It's a really cute mailbox set. So grab that and cut out a fresh freesia envelope. We're gonna fold that in half. Oh, I've just made a mess with my glue. Now, one thing you can do to hold that is to get a little clothespin and it'll hold it down while that's drying in place, okay? And then you're gonna need two tires, basic black. You're gonna need two hubcaps that are smoky slate, and those are right here, hubcaps and tires. All right, now those are all the pieces we need for our wagon. We're gonna do one more thing with our cut and emboss machine. We're gonna emboss. This is one of the basics embossing folders. We're gonna take off plates two and three. All you need is plate one and the gray plate, plate four. Now I'm gonna take a piece of this gorgeous Tahitian Tide and I'm gonna lay it down, put plate four on top and run it through and there we go isn't that fun i love this is probably my favorite embossing folder i tend to use it a lot okay so let's start the first thing that we're going to do is put our grass down and we will do that with some stamp and seal um, you want to leave a little bit of room there so we can tuck those flowers in behind all right so we've got that and then we'll adhere our flowers we're gonna do two behind the grass, like one there, and then we'll do one. And I'm gonna leave them kind of up a little bit because you'll still be able to see these behind our wagon. Let's, there's the third one. And here's our fourth one. I wanted them a, a little bit higher so that you could see them behind the wagon. All right, now let's take our wagon and some dimensionals. And we're gonna put these, whoa, flew across the desk. Put these right here, leave room for your wheels down there. Okay, and then we will Put a little dot of glue there and a dot of glue there. Grab our basic black tires, slide them under so they look like they're connected. 
and then a little dot there, a little dot there, and use your take your pick tool to pick these up like that. Let's see, let me turn that over to the right side. There we go. Now the little Fresh Freesia banner. I think the banner is so cute. I have harder, had a hard time making wagons without using the banner. It's just really fun. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. Now the handle to pull the wagon right there and we'll adhere that coming out from behind our wagon like that. Okay, now I think our envelope is dry. Let's get our little sewing kit. Where did my sewing kit go? Well, good thing I've got about 100 of them in here. I'm gonna put that in here like this, and I don't want it to be permanently adhered to the envelope, but I also don't want it to fall out. So I'm gonna take a glue dot I'm gonna take a glue dot <laughs> if it'll behave. And I'm gonna just put that right there so that it's easily pulled out, but also it's not going to fall out. All right, a little dimensional, and we're gonna tuck that in down like that. Okay, now for our saying. I've got a strip of basic white, and we're gonna have to do some masking on our stamp. You are, we're gonna do that part first. Make sure you've got everything else covered up. And then we're gonna use my Highland Heather ink pad. You wanna ink that up and then take the tape off. And I'm gonna stamp it right over here. You are, okay? And now we gotta clean it really well. And we're gonna do the opposite. Give it a second to dry or your tape won't stick. We can go ahead while we're waiting on that. We can do our letters. I'm just gonna do a tiny dot. Uh-oh, come on, little, little S. You are so S E. W, you are so. All right, now we'll take the tape and tape off the U and the R. And you wanna make sure that you get all of it, okay? But you also wanna ink, be able to ink that little dot right there for the I. All right, so stamp, 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 take that off, and then we'll stamp it right there. You are amazing. I'm a little bit over to the left, but I think it's all right. All right, now, let's get some dimensionals, and we'll put this across the top. You are so amazing. Everything needs to be shifted a little bit to the left, but you know what? It's all right, because we've got a card base here that we're gonna put this on. Some more dimensionals. And that, it looks like the card stock is hanging off, right? But it's exactly four and a fourth inches long, so it'll be perfect. We may have to shift it over a bit. Nope, I think it's perfect. See how it matches those edges right there? And last but not least, let's add a bow. All right, black and white gingham. Get my good scissors snip and a glue dot. And, oh well, goodness. Glue dots are giving me trouble today. There we go, and we're gonna put that right there. Now for the inside, I'm gonna take that same banner and just stamp that across one corner and we'll put this on the inside of our card. And there you go, just a fun treat for a friend. Cheer somebody up, lots of reasons you could give this card.
All right, I have two other uh, filled with fun projects for you on today's blog post. I also have several bonus projects with other things in the wagon, including the stamp set that we just used, Kidding Around. So if you want to see that, come back and check back for that one later as well. All right, you guys have fun stamping. Thanks. Bye-bye.